Right guys, Gaft is back with yesterday's perfect prediction. It requires a few things. It requires the good old Gaff stick, the roughing balm, a packet of cards and a forcing wallet. You're going to force some cards. Now, in my case, I'm going to force um, these three cards, a jack, the nine and the seven. And this is a magnetic card, which is going to hold the cards under the envelope. And we've also got a blue seven of diamonds. Now I've coated the back of this card with the roughing stick, but I've left this corner clear. So I can deal the cards down as one, but when I flip them over, I can easily push off on this corner to separate the cards. If I push anywhere else, they'll stick together. But if I flip them over, I can push in this corner and they will separate. And I've done that on all three cards. So we've got a seven of diamonds, blue, nine of spades, blue, jack of clubs, blue. And these are obviously two, uh, three double back cards. So these cards are going to hide under this magnetic card. They're going to go face down like this under the card. That's going to stick on the bottom of the envelope. There's quite a few magnets in there, it's quite secure. And inside, I've just taken a photograph, had it printed, of these three cards with a blue deck in the background. And I've just written prediction on the back, that will go into the wallet. These cards will hide on the back, square them all up. And these will go in your jacket pocket or somewhere. But you're not going to make any mention of these at the start of the trick, get rid of that. Right, let me just show you something crazy. Give the card to the spectator to shuffle. Um, quick note, the three cards you're going to force, take those three cards out of the red deck. You don't want to land on those by accident. Spectator shuffled, you'll take the cards back. You'll then reach into your pocket and say, in, in this envelope, you're going to strip the cards off the bottom, show them inside you've got a prediction, and just as a bit of a convincer, say, look, you can't see through it. Put that off to the side. Now, what you're going to do is deal the cards until the spectator calls out stop. The first three cards are going to be your double cards. So you need to be a little bit careful. They don't split. But you suppose you could drop them down like this, do it nice and quick. Whenever the spectator calls out stop. Oh, so they call that stop right here. You just mark it with a face up card and then just continue dealing onto the other two packets till they call that stop. Stop, mark it with a face-up card. Stop, mark it with a face-up card. What you got to do is pick up these three piles, put one on top of another, and then just give the cards one cut at any face-down card. Preferably not um, one of the force cards or the magnetic card for that point. Now just say, look, you shuffle the cards. We stopped on three random locations marked by the face-up card. Cut the pack at the card above it. That's going to be your double. Push it off, show the card they stopped on, and then flip this card over. And you should be able to push off this card off the double from that top corner. You do it again. Another, you stopped on the four, we take the card above it. So just push this off, flip this over, and again push off the nine. And the last card, the ten. Turn it over, push off the seven. You cannot turn the deck over and show the rest of the cards because you have got some face um, double face cards hiding in there. So don't do that. Just get rid of these. Show them these three cards. Now go to your prediction. Show them that it is a perfect prediction. The seven of diamonds, the jack of clubs, the nine of spades. And it is a perfect prediction because if you note in the background, these cards came from a blue deck. Not only do they come from a blue deck, they are these exact cards. So that's the trick, guys. Just the good old gaff stick, um, a little bit of arts and crafts, making a magnetic wallet. Where's the magnetic card? That will be hiding somewhere in here. That's a magnetic one. There's a double backer. There's a double backer. Should be one more somewhere. There's one. In fact, I think this, is the magnetic card um, a little bit awkward because it's 
a double backer is remembering the orientation of the magnets to have the, the strongest attraction. I think it's that way around. So these are the double backers. So to reset, you're going to find out where your roughing balm is. Put that back on there. Find your roughing balm. You can see it in certain lights if you just flick the cards around there. Back on there, last one, that way around. I put all those together. I put this on the bottom like that. I would then put all this back into the wallet and I would store it like this until I knew I was gonna do the trick again. And look, I need to build a new wallet because it's split now. So that is a trick guys, smash the like button, subscribe to Gaff Canary, post notifications on and we'll see you tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.